Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this portion, I am doing this DIY velvet dress. I'm taking my time and cutting out the pattern. And as you cut out the pattern, you want to make sure that you find one that is relatively easy for you to use. Next in this section, I am just draping it onto the mannequin. Uh, you will see me um, pinning down the sides and then also just trying to adjust it also uh, for each panel of the back so that way you can insert your zipper. We're still pinning and still adjusting. And then you wanna make sure that you cut off the excess fabric going down the sides. And just make sure that you adjust it. So then next, I'm just placing, um, taking some of my pins out so that way uh, it's just out of the way because we're getting ready to attach the drape tape onto the mannequin. Next, I'm just trying to come up with uh, how I'm going to drape the top. And you're just going to place your drape tape at the top of the sleeve and then kind of slowly go down as far as how you want to make your design go. I wanted to have that uh, certain shape that's in the front kind of going all to the sides and off to the back. And, you know, you sometimes the tape doesn't stick to the mannequin. So you just want to kind of, you know, also take some pins as well. Next, you'll see me take the tape going down each of the sides and then um, we'll also uh, take some of the tape and go up underneath of that, uh, basically creating our top. And so later you'll see how I'm designing this um, and also the mannequin that I'm using uh, is actually polyfill stuffed to the measurements of my client. And I've also used saran wrap to kind of create the duplicate shape of my client. Um, there's other ways that you can do this. I just found that this was easiest for me and cost effective. <laughs> so um, that's what made it uh, very interesting to work with. Uh, my client's hip was more like a 48. Her bust, I believe, was a um, she's smaller up top. So that's what we decided to go with.
Next in this section, I am just cutting off uh, two inch strips. And um, this was also the panel that was gonna be cut for the top. So I'm just splitting that and then also just kind of stretching it out onto the mannequin, feeling around where I feel my tape at. And then basically I will be uh, pinning along those sides there uh, to make it stay. And then I also added some uh, pins also on the side to, you know, basically I added the pins so that the fabric would not move. Um, and then, you know, you're just taking your time and adjusting it. Uh, at this part, I also um, paneled the back. So that way, and then I matched up the sides. So that way uh, you have, uh, you know, your center back pieces and then you can insert your zipper. And then what I did was I took it apart and now um, at this point, I'm just dealing with my machine, trying to thread it. And uh, once I've cut it, I basically have sewn the two side seams together um, alongside with the front. And um, I'm probably using a zigzag stitch. So because it is stretch velvet, you definitely want to make sure that you use a zigzag um, and also matching thread. So I'm just taking my time. And I also did this kind of off camera. I added the panel, um, the mesh panel. And I've also added, uh, I've cut the strips for the, I cut the strips for the, um, the boning and casings. So you'll also see me um, sewing the casings as well. The tubing can be very uh, tedious, but you just have to take your time. And it's literally you taking the piece, the two pieces of um, tubing. I did that at one inch and I've sewn it. And literally, once you flip it out inside out, you place your casing where you want and basically just kind of sew along the sides. Now here at this part, you kind of see me um, putting it all together and just kind of pinning and stretching. And you're still going to be adjusting. And that's where my zipper is going to be. Um, so yeah, I'm just taking my time and adjusting that. You saw me do a little dance. Now I'm just cutting out my a triangular piece for the side uh, for the side train, and uh, literally what you what I just did was sewn a little hook and eye, and then I took my time and I'm um, around that triangular piece. I had to kind of cut it uh, circular so that way you get that shape. And I also added the horse hair in it as well. Um, and here you just see some pictures of me just kind of putting it all together, and um, later added the zipper and basically she's done and i have my little makeshift background backdrop that i got from joann's and so enjoy please like share subscribe to my channel thank you again for watching